Yeah, guys, well, I am tracking some more snow, kind of like we saw today, those quick bursts that put down quite a bit of snow in a short amount of time, and I'll show you those, which I'm tracking in a few seconds. What else is on my radar is traced to two inches for snow totals this week. I know that seems like a wide range, but it is because those isolated bursts are putting uh, isolated spots, giving those areas more snow than others. Now, tomorrow going to be a chilly one, 13 degrees below average. We're looking for 44 this time of year, so you can expect tomorrow 31 for your high. And the trend does continue for a couple of days until we get that warm up for the weekend. Not necessarily warm for this time of year, but more seasonable at least. So we've got some sunshine in that forecast as well. Now, if we take a look here right now on YSU Skycam, we are not seeing any flurries on uh, this Skycam in particular, but uh, we are seeing a couple spots on radar that are getting some of those flurries down right now. Now, northwest winds 15 miles per hour, so it is breezy out there. Those breezes are going to continue tomorrow. We're sitting at 26 right now and expect us to drop another couple degrees over the next couple of hours. Take a look at radar. Fairly quiet other than those isolated snow flurries. This lake effect machine, just when you think it is done, is back in action. A couple of those spots seeing a few flurries. Uh, Mercer is getting some of that as well as up in northern Trumbull County near Warren. And it looks like East Liverpool could be getting a better burst of this snow as it moves east over the next couple of minutes. So if you're driving tomorrow, do be careful. Those bur bursts do produce whiteout conditions. I know I was driving today about a quarter mile was reduced visibility so it uh, does create some dangerous conditions but temperatures are right now sitting in the mid 20s they'll fall and we're going to see it like i said teens this coming week for our overnight temperatures which feels pretty wintry as we get closer to and closer to springtime. Let's look on Future Tracker. I'll show you these snow showers I'm tracking for tomorrow morning. We've had a little bit of a break. Those clouds are broken up a little bit. They'll build back in for the morning on Wednesday. Sitting in the 20s, we'll see some of that lake effect snow, especially up in northern Trumbull and Mercer counties. You guys are going to get the best bit of this most likely with that two inches expected. Now for Wednesday afternoon evening, we'll get a break from that snow, break from the clouds. It builds back in once again on Thursday morning. Temperatures a little warmer for your morning on Thursday. We'll pick up a few of these snow bands for our, uh, Thursday afternoon, and then once those push out, things will start to scatter, and they could linger a, a snow flurry or two for Friday morning. And then as we go throughout the afternoon, those will break up, and we will get some sunshine in the forecast. Now, for tomorrow morning, look for about a quarter of an inch as far as snowfall totals. By the end, this is all said and done. Look for most of us a half inch to an inch. Minimum trace at best two inches. Check out Trouble Tracker. We've got snow and visibility being the biggest of the issues, plus some wind. And uh, that is going to make that visibility even further reduced with that snowfall that is going to be on the roads tomorrow. Here is a look at your seven day forecast for you. Now we have some more uh, snowfall all the way through Friday when it tapers off in the early morning and temperatures only reaching 30. For the weekend, we've got sunshine mid to upper 40s, but then we dip right back down as we get to the first day of spring. We'll be right back.